What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Now this is a different Final Cut Pro tutorial because obviously I'm showing my face again. On my last video, you guys were ruthless on my hair. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And honestly, to be honest, it was pretty bad. Anyways, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to do motion tracking in Final Cut Pro 10, which is pretty cool. I've been requested this so many times. Oh my gosh, I just had to do it. All right guys, so hopping on to Final Cut Pro 10, we have this footage from That Was Epic. If you guys wanna go ahead and check him out, his YouTube channel is right here. A uh, link will be down in the description so you guys can go ahead and subscribe to him and watch his YouTube channel. It's really cool. I suggest you uh, comment down uh, King on his latest uh, video if you guys want. Uh, anyways, his videos are really funny. He does a lot of pranks and stuff like that. So shout out to him. That was epic. He's really funny. And uh, this is a video I'm going to show you guys on the effect that I applied it to. So motion tracking is pretty easy. It's not that hard. All you have to do is just kind of use keyframing and just kind of be patient with the actual process of making an object track a person, an animal, a car, whatever it is that you're going to be tracking. Uh, you want to make sure that you're patient with it. So in this case, I used uh, that was epic. One of his videos. I used this kind of motion graphic. Instagram follow lower third kind of thing on his video. It just looks kind of clean. It looks pretty nice Of course, you wouldn't want to add it like this during a video, but you can if you want This is what I've done here. I'm gonna go ahead and push play so you guys can go ahead and see Of course, it's not smooth like actual motion tracking and it's not gonna be the best thing in the world with Final Cut Pro 10 because Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't really have the capability of actually doing a correct tracking like uh, After Effects or, Mo or Adobe Premiere Pro. You can see that there's a lot of keyframes but honestly it doesn't take that long and the fewer, here's the trick, the fewer the keyframes the more smoother it will look but the less realistic and the more keyframes it will look a little bit nicer if that makes any sense. This is what I'm going to show you guys how to do so what you want to go ahead and do first is I'm going to actually get rid of the actual uh, stuff here and everything so this is what your object is gonna look like your graphic whatever it is in this case I used this Instagram uh, Lower third graphic and what I wanted to do is I wanted to follow his hand or his arm or his Legs in this case. I'm gonna have it follow his legs just because it's a little bit easier and there's less movement Also the less movement the best the motion tracking is gonna turn out because you don't have to add that much keyframes and make it look all jaggedy if that makes any sense so the, the smoother the video is or the object that you're or the person that you're tracking the better it's going to come out so what we're going to go ahead and do is we already have the scale and everything set how we want it to go so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this little transform option like a square and there's transform crop and distort we're going to click on transform so you want to click on that one more time to bring up the keyframe option and at the beginning of your clip you want to go ahead and bring up the plus icon or the keyframe to add your first keyframe so from here what you want to go ahead and do is just kind of skim through the video using the left and right bracket keys and just follow along with his leg or whatever you're gonna be using if it's a car just follow his movement along with the text so you want to have a kind of like a good eye with this so like I said the less keyframes the smoother it's gonna turn out the more keyframes the less smooth it's gonna turn out so in this case I want to do as less as less keyframes as possible but having it track his leg at the same time so you want to go ahead and kind of skim through it kind of quickly and kind of move it so the key here is just to constantly keep your not to constantly but to kind of keep your object moving throughout the video or else it's going to look a little bit still and not as good so I'm gonna have him follow his leg and I think we should be good so honestly that didn't even take that long maybe like 30 seconds so now if you go ahead and push play this is what it will look like so as you can see I used less keyframes here and the smoother it turned out but the less realistic it looks so there's different <laughs> different ways that this can go of course but the more you're patient with this and the more you have if you have a good eye with the movement, the better this will come out. Of course, this is only a tutorial, so I don't want to spend hours on this, but you guys hopefully get the idea on how to do motion tracking, and it doesn't even have to be 
like I said, a lower third. It can be whatever you guys want, but just stick with things that are moving less, that are moving less. So if there's a lot of movement, you're probably not going to want to do motion tracking unless you have a plugin because uh, it will turn out a lot better. But see, if we were like tracking her, this girl's leg right here, it will turn out very good. But uh, I chose to do his leg, so oh well. Anyways, if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, turn on the bell notification to receive weekly videos, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.